Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is our paint through video of the massive Joan of Arc reliquary box. Lots of cool minis here. Uh, huge monsters like the uh, Griffin, the Beast, uh, Mehmet the Conqueror, Dracula. There's also lots of um, upgrades to the armies. Lots of undead Ottoman army. So uh, we're going to get into it here. Uh, there are lots of great reference photos on the game cards, so I'll be kind of keeping these handy to you know look at look at them for a color palette and get some ideas on how to paint them. Um, there are were a few pieces that were bent out of the box, but I what I did is I did the thing where I dipped those into into um, hot water and then into ice water, and it once you dip it in hot, hot water, I, I lost the hot water video, but it'll just straighten it out. I think you see it on my first video, but you can see this one. Uh, is straightened out after I put it in hot water and then um, uh, dip it into cold ice water and it literally just straightens out by itself and you can see the mini straight now so uh, easy to do tie a string to it and dip it into the hot water so first off going through these I'm going to um, put some flesh on all of the uh, faces there's a huge mix of minis here so you've got undead characters you've got um, expansion, more heroes, more army pieces, Ottoman army pieces, and uh, a number of giant monsters. I probably won't get to all the giant monsters in this paint through, and I'll kind of save those for like right before I do uh, a gameplay. We can jump into those then, so it sort of gives me a uh, focus on the details of those. But I will hit the, um, I'm, next up I want to play that Tarasque from the first box set. And like I mentioned in the intro, I um, I've got a couple of minis left over, like the ghosts. I have to finish off the skeletons. So just hitting these with some flesh tone. And you know, when you first, I haven't primed these. Uh, I found that it's, uh, they, they take the paint pretty well. I'm using Tamiya paints mostly, some Citadel paints. And if, you, if anyone wants to know all the colors, you can kind of go through the video. But if you're really interested, leave me a comment below and I'll, I'll pause the frame and and make a list of all the paints I've used in this if it helps you guys to uh, come up with your palettes. But like I mentioned, I'm mostly going from the art direction of the box rule sets and the cards. So it makes it kind of kind of straightforward to plan your painting. Uh, after I get these uh, the flesh tone on these, I'll work across them probably by color. So the way the way I do these batch painting paint throughs is I'll take a color, maybe it's a, a it's an earth tone, maybe it's a a blue or a red, and I'll just paint them across all the minis that I kind of think will have them. And slowly over time, I think this was probably shot over four days, five days. I didn't really rush to do it. I just kind of had it set up and worked my way through it. But as you as you get used to a big batch paint through. Um, uh, this is one tech technique you can do. So you can see I've got the flesh tone on all of these. Um, some of these were already pre-painted. You can see those ghosts, not pre-painted, but I had painted them earlier, like the ghosts I have a base coat on. And then I'll start to work on the base coat for all those other colors across the minis. I'm working on this giant mini of uh, Mehmet the Conqueror, and they've got three other figures um, on top of this sort of magic carpet that the genie is holding up. I started out painting in flesh tone, and then I decided uh, from the card it looks much cooler painted, really deep black, and they can have these bronze brazers, uh, bracers and an armband, so I'm going to go with that. So I chose a copper color for the Ottoman Army's weapons just to kind of have them stand out. I just think it's sometimes, I think, for practical use from a board game point of view, it's nice to have features that make all the all the pieces of a of an army jump out. Uh, so I'm not necessarily going for realistic here. I'm going more for you know tabletop ready, make it look interesting, but also make it so that you can kind of distinguish this army from that army when they're when they're on the tabletop. So uh, I, I've been looking at lots of videos out there of other people painting up these armies, and there's some fantastic ones out there. Maybe I'll links leave some links uh, in the description. But down in the description you can check out our Instagram where we post photos from these on a daily basis and uh, you can also check out our Patreon. And we have a sister channel, Pontus Fathom Press. Check out our bookstore below if you want to support the channel. We really appreciate that. So so yeah, it's like, like this is an example of just batch painting through all of this copper. I've got copper shields, copper scimitars, copper 
uh, swords and finding everywhere that there's a Mehmet's got a, a, a staff kind of a wand that I've capped with the same color so it kind of gives a cohesion for the army and I'll do the same thing with the with I'm using titanium silver for the swords for swords spear points uh, armor helmets so you can kind of see some of that silver is already on these minis here and you see those copper shields so next up just clear up some space I've already went, went ahead and started basing some of them so it kind of helps me to see what minis I've painted already and which ones I haven't uh, you know get the first coat of a base and here you can see all those paints through so I'm going to do a, a detail one of Mehmet here you can see him with just the flesh tone and then I'm going to follow this painting pattern he's got a uh, kind of a yellow mustard vest he's got a um, yellow undergarment a, a blue coat a, a greenish blue teal kind of cummerbund and then he's got the red arms so just kind of following this uh, painting scheme here they're quite small so I've got the uh, I've got that magnifying glass headpiece that I've shown you in the other videos if you guys want to go check out uh, our main box paint through I've got that video uh, link below and I think we're up to about season four playing through uh, Joan of Arc gameplay so you can go check out our gameplay videos as well and if you guys have any videos to share please uh, leave the links below in the comments so you can see I've got the archers painted up I've got crossbowmen uh, halberdiers uh, the Ottoman armies now we're getting into some of the reliquaries uh, penitents plague victims so these are the, the, the pestilence they've got copper bells tied around them, their necks so I've mixed in a little pink in with the flesh tone to kind of give them a a plague victim kind of skin tone these guys are pretty disgusting looking and uh, similar similarly similarly in the theme of uh, the plague which I think is a, a scenario in the reliquary uh, scenario book we've got these uh, penitents heretics and uh, uh, to paint through as well, so you can, we'll, we'll show you some details of those later. These are the Ottoman uh, bowmen, and I've chosen to use blue for most of their um, uniforms. I've used a sky blue here and contrast it with purples and some reds as well. So, see the copper and the blue look good together. Probably a couple days into the video shoot now, we're, we're uh, got a good base coat on most of the minis uh, again because I'm going by color I don't always get full coverage on them and then it's once you have them partially painted you can kind of go through and see what you want to do next you can see with these axe axe wielders here uh, I've got the pants painted and then I'm going to give them some uh, pink jackets they'll have the white um, head pieces and again the copper weapons and the archers I'll give uh, purple vests I put a bunch of decals. You can see the decals here on some of our knights. I'm liking how these archers look. And yeah, I've got our heroes slowly coming together. So uh, I try to diversify them from... Yeah, here's the penitents and here's those Ottoman archers. Uh, these are the heretics. Some villagers that I'm painting. You've got the executioner and his gear there. Apothecary. Apothecary. Apothecary and mounted cavern. I'll probably get to those next time. Uh, you can see that the genie's coming together. You can see Mehmet on the flying carpet here. So it's, uh, and then starting uh, the Grim Reaper. So I'm going to go through and do some bases here. Just get the second coat on some of the bases or in some cases the first coat. But you can see by the color I've got the uh, skeleton armies painted there's also a number of other skeletons here there's kind of a, a skeleton that called dance macabre that are sort of twisted walking twisted way and then they've got the um, the diabolic skeletons with flutes kind of reminds me of uh, army of darkness kind of comedic skeletons but yeah it kind of frightful when you think about skeletons playing music and having twisted dances but you can see all the different halberdiers some of the villagers the penitents uh, the bombast 
some peasants are archers and crossbowmen and again the heroes coming together they've also got some decals on these you can see this the decals make them really look look great and here's those skeletons I was talking about the wolves painted up ghosts finished just gonna put a clear coat on all of those so yeah this is about day three day four really coming together I went with for the uh, Grim Reaper I went with I used a very paled version of flesh tone and then I'm hitting it with some um, uh, flesh shade uh, oil a wash also for his serpents coming out of his side and then I'm going to hit the main body I used a very light gray whitish gray like a pale color and uh, silver for the scythe and painting him now with a Nuln oil wash to uh, put some shadows on him so just very simple just get details popping on them and then get them tabletop ready. So by now we've pretty much got a base coat on most of the most of the minis. Uh, you see the Grim Reaper there. I've got the Executioner here looking pretty good. I've got the washes on them already by this time. Uh, I've got the Tarask using a kind of a khaki for the upper coat, a pink for the undercoat, and the uh, sort of blue metallic. Then some of these heretic, oh, we've got Mehmet looking wa with the wash, looking good. We've got the Sabbath Witch, or the Soothsayer. I hadn't painted from the original box. And then some of our heroes. We've got Vlad the Impaler started, not quite finished, just got the red on those, but I got about 80% coverage, I think, on the ones I painted. You've got these flagellants or the disciples, depending on which scenario. They've also got the bell and a big uh, steer skull on their chest. You've got the heretics swinging around that brazier, shirtless. They look pretty cool. Those are also finished. And then you've got the penitents with the boxes on their head and the, the steer skulls. I was talking about giant swords. Um, so you can see most of the minis here, I've got at least uh, a base coat and a wash on them at this point. Um, skeletons, Ottoman army, peasants, a spearmen, flagellants, heretics, bowmen, and you can see our carpet is coming together. So now it's getting them ready for a clear coat. I'm going to use two clear coats for these. Some of them I will use a gloss clear coat. I, did, I guess depending on whether I want them to seem uh, earth tony and, and, and matte or if I want them to seem more wet. I think that's like, for example, the monsters I'll probably use um, skeletons, I'll use dry. So that's the flat clear. And then for some of the other ones like the Tarsk, I'll use clear gloss to kind of make it have that wet view. So just spraying these up. This is with the matte finish. So all the skeletons, I kind of give them a bone dry finish. The wolves as well. Now I get these locked in. And you can see, I, th I think even for some of them, as you guys know from my like through the Death May Die paint I always use the clear coat gloss. I think for monsters, they look good if they have a kind of a wet look to them. And then I thought some of these penitents and the plague victims. The heretics as well, sort of looking sweaty or gross a bit. So use the use the gloss to kind of have them shine. So it creates a little contrast. So as we fly over these, uh, I've got about 80% of these finished. I'll get to the cavalry and some of the other minis right before I do the, the gameplay. But pretty happy with how these turned out. Uh, we've got them clear coated, and I've also put together. Uh, I asked, picked up some of these storage boxes. As you know, the Joan of Arcs have tons of minis. There's not always a home for all of them, so I thought this was a good solution for that. Uh, and it's easy to stack them. So yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. As usual, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like and subscribe, I'll get the notification out to you uh, when we do the gameplay for these. So leave your comments below, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.